Hi guys, I am back and today I am going to be updating you on my pen, those eyeshadow palette series that I have on YouTube this year. If you aren't aware, right now I am focusing on the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 3 palette, which I adore. I love this palette. Um, I have picked four palettes throughout the year to focus on. This is my fourth palette. If you've missed my previous updates, I will leave them linked in a playlist down below so you can get all caught up. But without further ado, I am going to jump straight into this update. Firstly, I would like to show you what the palette was looking like last month. And then... To remind you, the shades that I was working on were um, Soothe Metallic and Story Metallic, Soothe in the Sequin Finish, and Ritual in the Matte Finish, which I am going to swatch right here for you. These are all very beautiful shades. Um, I'm really... I really love every shade in this palette. Um, well, almost every shade in this palette. I don't want to sound too gushy. Um, and this is what the palette is looking like this month. So as you may be able to see, I did hit pan in the matte soothe shade. This was not one of my focus shades, but it is a shade that I tend to start with every single time I do my makeup. Um, I have been switching it up and reaching into my Hoola bronzer, which is kind of a first step crease shade sometimes since I don't want to just completely use up Soothe and then not have a matte br light brown in this palette anymore. So ever since I've hit pan I've been reaching for that bronzer as well a little bit. Other than that um, I really love every shade in this palette. I've been reaching for the these two shades a lot. Um, I've been doing a lot of winged liner so I'll reach for the black and ritual in the matte shades a lot and I haven't been doing as many like bright fun looks so the story and poet rose have been kind of neglected to be completely honest I just haven't been wearing makeup as much as I have as much as I have in previous months there have been a lot of days in the past month where even if I do technically have the time to wear makeup I'm just so tired and I know that sometimes putting on makeup makes me feel better but Sometimes I just need to like sit and grind out some homework in that hour instead of, or 20 minutes or whatever it is, instead of playing with makeup. So I have been neglecting this, not because I don't like this palette, but because I just haven't been reaching for this palette. I haven't been reaching for makeup as often. Um, I do think since there's only, I'm only going to be working on this palette for about three more months, I do want to keep kind of playing with this beautiful color story um, and enjoying it that way, but I I don't know if I'll hit pan, but I am very excited for my finale because I am going to talk about the different palettes that I worked on over the year, go through all of the pans that I hit this year, and talk about kind of my overall thoughts from my project. So that is everything that I have for today's video. It's super short and sweet. I don't want to start getting into all the nitty gritty details that I'll have in my finale. So I just wanted to show you what the palette is looking like now so that you, ever, we can all look forward to my finale in, it'll be uploaded in about a month, but um, I, I'm going to be out of town. So I'm going to be pre-filming that video. So I really only have three more weeks of progress left to see. That is everything that I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having an incredible, awesome day wherever you are and that I get to see you in a future video. Thanks, guys.